Ming, I have finally caught up to you. 1992 to 1996 Ford F-350. X Montreal Fire Department truck unit. I've seen this thing go by a couple of times. I even had somebody tell me about it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'd like to make a video of that thing, you know? There you go, make a U-turn. Like, I saw this and I'm like, what? I'm like, how the hell did this thing survive? You know? These types of trucks were really easily junked, you know? Um... There's no special treatment uh, for these types of vehicles compared to a pumper or a ladder, which, by the way, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but Fire Station 29 is right there. Right there in the corner. That's why I went there. And then there's this, you know, pretty much a one-of-a-kind truck of its time. You know, and, uh, of course, this generation of... This generation of light-duty Fords, like I said, they made from 1992 to 1996, but actually specifically... This body style was made from 1990, uh, sorry, 1980 to 1996, so it's really cool to see this. Obviously, this was some kind of a rescue unit, and uh, you can see the crest would have been on the door for the uh, Service Incendie de Montréal, and I'm pretty much betting there's a power stroke, some kind of diesel in there or something. It's nice to see, not only it's still around, but it's still working. I mean, look at this trailer it's got here with this uh, digger backhoe, whatever, I mean, that's really cool. I guess the 514 is a tribute to Montreal. Of course, that's their old area code. That's cool. I mean, okay, I wish it was clean. Obviously, it's working. It's dirty, but it exists. That's what's amazing. It's still around. We're talking, we're looking at a vehicle that's like, you know, 30 years old, give or take. You know? What's the interior look like? Oh, man, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I thought it would look worse than that, actually. Who knows what kind of mileage is on that, actually? I mean... The city has always taken great care of its commercial vehicles, you know. Uh, trucks, tractors, blowers, whatever it may be. And uh, I don't see any rust out or anything. As a matter of fact, if I would own this, I bet you I could polish that with a compound cleaner and get that red come right back the whole thing around to look almost like new. It would be nice, of course, ideally in a perfect life. It would be really preserved and really taken care of, you know. And But the way, just the way of seeing it right now, it's... You know, it's 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 just an old truck, right? And most people didn't even look twice at it. But that's why I love what I do. So because you don't see stuff like that anymore, you know. Uh, again, uh, you know, to to reiterate, you know, we're talking about being and living in a time where things are more disposable than ever. Cars, trucks are more disposable than ever. Who the fuck is going to keep a Kia, for example, uh, in like 20 years? You know, like how you have that added, uh, it's like an air deflector for like aerodynamics, better gas mileage, or you know. We would add some lights up there, I see. It's a neat, uh, neat rig. Whoa, look at that. Had a boy there, enjoy that. I sure as hell can. I'm too visually impaired for crying out loud. Yeah, there's no lack of action here for a Monday evening, let me tell you, because it's 30 degrees Celsius on the third day of uh, June. And this guy's playing music, so I'm going to wrap it up so it doesn't interfere with trying to make freaking money. Amazing. Amazing shape. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.